Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how do we use the drop and the keep command. So why do we use these two commands? We can use these commands to either drop variables or keep the variables, uh, or we can use them to drop values within certain variables. So uh, uh, they both work somewhat similarly, uh, except for uh, because they are, uh, you know, two faces of the same kind. So so I, can, I either you can drop certain variables or you can keep them. So let's have a data set. And we are using this uh, same auto data set that comes preloaded with Stata. So firstly, we are going to discuss how do we keep or drop variables. So if you want to drop a variable, let's say there is a variable called make, uh, make or model of a car. Uh, so what we can do is we can use the drop command and then the name of the variable, and that would uh, drop or delete that variable. We can use, uh, we can we can delete multiple variables uh, by just specifying the uh, the drop command and then the list of the variables. So in this case, I want to drop all these three variables: mpg, the repair variable, and the weight variable. So that would drop all these. Uh, we can also use some kind of uh, 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 this wild card where we have let it say certain. Uh, variables that comes in a SQL. So for example, we have price, price one, price two, and so on and so forth. So these all variables uh, have some kind of a subscript uh, or, or rather sub suffix, right? And uh, uh, and we can uh, use that suffix along with the wildcard to delete all those variables that starts with a certain, certain, uh, certain character. So let's just say, let's create a variable, let's call it price two, and I'm just going to generate this variable for demonstration purpose. You don't need to generate them yourself. So now we have two variables called price and price two. And let's just say if I wanted to drop them both, I do not need to specify drop and then let's just say price and then price two. Uh, I can simply, uh, write it using a wildcard because both these variables have a common uh, character which is uh, price and what I can do is I can write that common characters and then specify a wildcard. So that would drop both the price variables. Similarly, let's just say we have two variables that starts with T and I want to drop both those variables or all of those variables that start with T, uh, the alphabet T. So I'm using the the alphabet T and then the wildcard, so that uh, would, uh, would would tell Stata to drop any variable that starts with a T. Similarly, we can, uh, instead of using drop, we can use keep. Uh, so keep would obviously keep those variables and not delete them and delete the rest of them. So we have uh, around five variables and let's just say we, we do not need all of them, we just need, for our analysis, we just need a length and the foreign variable. So I'm going to keep the length and the foreign variable. So that would just keep those two variables. We can only uh, keep a single variable and just say specify keep and just the name of that variable and that would keep that specific variable. So should we use drop or should we use keep? I mean, they both work, uh, they both uh, perform the same job uh, uh, except for a different angle. So uh, the idea is if you want to drop a few variables, then you should use drop. And if you want to keep a few variables, then you should use keep. So in this case, I wanted to drop some of the variables, just three variables, uh, and we had around 15 variables. So instead of writing the name of all those 15 variables or all those 13 variables that I wanted to drop, uh, uh, so, so it would had been better to use keep in that case. So uh, the idea is to use less number of or less names of the variables. Uh, so dr use drop if you want to drop a few variables and use keep if you want to keep a few variables. Okay, we can also use drop and keep the same commands to drop certain values that fulfill certain condition. Uh, so let me just re-import the data because I have dropped all the variables. 
So let us say I want to drop if the price of a car is greater than uh, 12,000. So drop all those values. So in previous case, I was dropping the columns uh, per se. Uh, so for example, uh, in our data set, uh, these columns represents the variable names. So previously I was dropping uh, the columns, uh, but in this case, I want to drop a specific rows, a rows, uh, those rows that that meet certain conditions. So I want to drop if price is greater than 12,000. So that wouldn't drop this price variable, but rather it would drop all those uh, values, uh, all those rows uh, that that meets a certain condition. In this case, it is price is greater than 12,000. And from the, uh, from the command window, we can see that uh, once we perform this command, we can see that it shows that five observations had been deleted. So there were five observations that had, there were five rows that had price greater than 12,000. What if we wanted to keep all those variables that have a price less than 10,000? And again, we would be keeping uh, our rows rather than keeping the variable. So it's uh, the idea is if you specify if and then certain condition and that would work for the rows, uh, whether that would drop or keep the rows. And if you just specify the command drop and then the variable name that would drop the columns or the variables. So let's keep all those cars that have less than 10,000 uh, that, that whose price is less than 10,000. So, so we know that there are five observations that were deleted. We can also use multiple conditions so we can keep or drop uh, based on multiple conditions. So let's just say if we want to drop if the price is greater than we want to drop all those rows, uh, all those cases where the price is greater than 5000 and the mileage is equal to 22. So we can use uh, other logical indicators as well. So there is just one car that had price greater than 5000 and its mileage was equal to 22. We can use or condition, right? So what I'm trying to say is that drop if price is greater than 9,000 or so either this condition should be met or this condition should be met or the mileage is equal to 22. So all those cases, uh, all those rows where either price is greater than 9,000 or uh, mileage is equal to 22, all those observations would be dropped. And we know that there are six those observations. So we can also drop or keep missing values. So let's summarize this data and from the observation column, we, we know that all those variables, all the variables that we have in our data set have 15 uh, number of observations, except for this repair variable, which have 40, 54 observations. And if we look at the data, this repair variable, we know that there are certain dots in them and these dots represents missing values. Uh, in the language of strata. So if you wanted to drop these missing values, what we we do is drop if rep 78 is equal to dot. So that's how simple it is. That would drop these missing values, right? Uh, so we know that there were three observations where uh, rep 78 was missing. And if we can quickly summarize, you would know that we have only 54 rows as opposed to 57 rows. Or we could have just used drop if this missing function, which simply says that drop all the uh, rows where the rep 78 contains certain missing values. So rather than using the dot explicitly, we can use the missing function. And this one is better uh, for certain reasons. Uh, we can use keep instead of drop and we can keep all those values where the rep 78 is missing or we can use this syntax. They, bo they both work the same way. So either use this syntax or use this command. We can drop certain range and when we say range that means a uh, certain number of cells. So uh, what we can do is we can write drop in 1 to 10. So that means that drop the rows that uh, that are first 10 rows, starting with uh, the first row till 10th row, and you would notice that all these 10 rows would be dropped, right? We can uh, keep, uh, use the keep command 
to to just keep the first or the last value in a panel data and for that i'm going to use is an a different data set we have a stock prices data which contains different firms so we have three firms and each firms have different number of years uh, and we have their prices so what if i wanted to keep uh, i just wanted to ha keep the the rows uh, for each firm uh, where that specific firm have a highest year so in this first uh, firm this firm id 1 the highest year is 2017 but in firm id 2 the highest year is 2015 and for in firm id 3 the highest year is 2019 we just want to keep the highest year so what we do is we use by sort firm so what we are saying is that we have a panel data and uh, we need to re repeat this command for each firm. Now, what this command is saying that is keep if uh, the, the the number of observations is the highest. And we have uh, a video on this one. I will give a link in the description. What is the difference between the small n and the and the bigger n? Uh, so this should keep uh, 2017 for the first firm, 2015 for the second, and 2019 for the third firm. That's what we get. Uh, we could uh, let me re-import this data, and we could have just uh, done it uh, the opposite way. That is, keep the smallest number of smallest year for each firm. So for year for firm one, it would be two thousand ten. For second firm, it would be two thousand and five, and for the first firm, the smallest year is two thousand and sixteen. So we do by sort firm. Uh, and rather we should also use uh, year in the bracket and what that would do is it would perform this command uh, this command for each firm but before performing this command it should sort the data in years so we already have that sorted but in case if you don't have the data sorted uh, you should do this way or rather you can explicitly use sort firm year right so we want this command to be performed for each firm, but before performing this command, we want uh, Stata to sort the data based on firm year. So, uh, so that should keep uh, the smallest number of years, uh, smallest year for each firm. Uh, we can also drop all the variables. So in this case, we have three variables. Uh, rather, let me go back to our uh, auto data and uh, we can drop use this drop underscore all command and what that would do is it would drop all the variables now this drop all is different from clear uh, clear removes macros or any value labels but drop all only deletes the variable and what i mean to say is that if we go to the variable manager uh, we would uh, see that, let, let me create a, a variable, let's say price is equal to dot. Uh, I just created a variable so we can use this, this manager, uh, variable manager. Now, uh, you can see that if we go to uh, value labels, we can see that there was uh, a value label that was assigned to our foreign variable. Uh, that value label is still there. Uh, if we had used clear, this value label had been gone. But because we had used uh, drop all, so drop all just drops the variables, doesn't clear the environment, right? Uh, so let me just quickly use clear, and then let me go back to uh, let me let me generate this price variable and go back to the variable manager. And now you would see that value labels had been gone. So clear would delete everything from the environment not just the variables the data but all uh, all the elements that had been created uh, during the process uh, we can use the menus obviously and that is from the uh, if you want to drop variables then we can use data and from data we can use variable manager or we can click over here for variable manager if you want to drop uh, observations uh, then, uh, then what we can do is we can uh, we can go to data, create or change data, and uh, drop or keep observations, right? 
lastly uh, do remember that once you have uh, dropped a variable uh, or an observations we cannot go back there is no undoing that so remember to use either frames or preserve command uh, before you drop certain variables if you if 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 you want to go back to the original data set so thanks for wa watching this video do subscribe and do hit the bell icon